Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Good day, good morning, good afternoon, and good night to all our listeners. I'm Janelle, and welcome to the first episode of Drive Talks. To those who have not listened or viewed our trailer yet, let me tell you a quick background of what this podcast is all about and what you should expect in the future. This podcast is all about the conversations we have during a car ride with our friends and also the thoughts and conversations we have when driving alone. So basically, it's anything under the sun, any issues or topics of interest that some listeners and viewers may be interested it in we will talk about it and tackle here in drive docs since this podcast will be mainly streamed here in the philippines there will be times that i'll be speaking in tagalog to better articulate my views and opinions on a certain matter and as more episodes roll out i will try to bring in guests to join me on my podcast to talk about and share their experiences with the different topics and issues we will be discussing so without further ado let's get down to our topic of this episode sound right boy Have you ever scrolled through your social media account and saw on your news feed na may mga ilan sa mga friends or acquaintances na kinakasal na na may baby at may family na Alam mo naman sa sarili mo na di ka na bumabata at minsan hinahanapan ka ng nanay at tatay mo ng apo tsaka atat na din maging ninang at ninang ang mga close friends mo Well, ito ngayon ang topic natin for the first episode of our podcast. Ako mismo, araw-araw, bawat scroll ko sa IG, sa Facebook, sa Twitter, halos nakikita ko ang mga friends ko na nagpakasal na or expecting na sila. Meron pa nga na nakadalawa na eh. Most of the time, di naman ako bothered sa mga ganong bagay Pero may time talaga na napapaisip ako na Time ko na ba talaga mag-start ng sariling pamilya? Minsan talaga, di ko or di natin maiiwasan na ma-pressure Sa nakikita natin sa paligid, lalo na di naman tayo bumabata Kung single man kayo or in a relationship At marami nagsasabi at nagtatanong sa inyo Kung kailan kayo magpapakasal Or kung kailan kayo magkakaanak Ito muna ang mga bagay na dapat isipin nyo Bago kayo mag-commit at buksan ang next chapter ng buhay Nyo. Firstly, you need to ask yourself, ready ka na ba talaga sa commitment? Look, I'm no husband and I'm no parent, but I know starting something that you're not really interested in or you did not wish in the first place will end up hurting you more in the end as time goes by. You have to ask yourself, willing ka ba na baguhin ang lifestyle mo at kinaugalian mo para magkapamilya? Know that getting married and having a baby requires a lifetime commitment. Hindi siya tulad ng pag-adapt mo ng pet na pwede mong ibalik sa pet store o sa adoption center pag ayaw mo na. I think if you have issues or problems with commitment, it's much better na wag mo na magpadala sa pressure ng pagpapakasal or pagkakaroon ng baby agad. Secondly, something to think about as well. Are you capable of providing a bright future for your child and family? This also can be rephrased as, are you financially ready? As a human being, we always want a bright and successful future for our friends and families. Now, ask yourself this harsh question. Kaya ba ng sinasahod mo ngayon ang mag-umpisa ng pamilya, mag-alaga ng bata, at mabili pa rin yung mga araw-araw niyong pangangailangan? Know that you will have to sacrifice the luxuries that you buy for yourself and also the vices that you're accustomed to doing in your spare time. And as taken from an article about children in poverty from an international child sponsorship NGO, Humanium, it says here that the lack of financial capability and or poverty deprives children of educational opportunities and prevents them from gaining access to medical care, clean water, food, shelter, security and protection, information, and many other things in life. With those points being discussed, let's take a little break while we think about the seriousness of this matter and how some of these points may be useful before you make your next life-changing decision. Once we come back, we will have more discussions for you about this matter here on Drive Talks.
Welcome back to Drive Talks. Kanina, pinag-uusapan natin yung ilang mga bagay na dapat nyong isipin bago kayo or tayo mag-commit at mag-start ng family. The previous points raised were kung ready ka na ba talaga sa commitment at kung financially ready ka na ba para mag-start ng pamilya. Before we continue, if you have any feedback, opinions, or anything to add on what is being discussed, feel free to comment on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. I will be posting those links at the description. Picking up where we left off, other things you may want to ask yourself or think about are how well do you handle stressful situations? Going back to what I said sa una kong point, commitment ang papasukan mo. Pagkasal na kayo ng partner mo, di pwede yung magpapaanal ka agad dahil sa mga maliliit or petty fights yung dalawa. Pag may baby ka na, di mo siya pwedeng iwan na lang sa bahay kasi magtatanggal ka ng stress sa Baguio or Sagada. Not all of us are built well to handle stress. Alam na natin sa sarili yun. Marriage and starting a family requires you to be strong at all times. Being able to handle stressful situations at work and at the same time, stressful situations when you're at home. Like I said, I'm no husband or parent but growing up, I saw the stressful times that my mom and dad had to endure in order for my sister and I not to feel the difficult times that they were going through. Last point to think about is... Does it scare you thinking about getting married and having kids? Para sa akin, ito yung pinaka-importante na iniisip ko palagi pag nakakakita ako ng mga kaibigan ko na nagpapakasal or bumubuo na ng pamilya. Yes, we all have fears with regards to such a big and personal matter like this. Am I good enough? Do I think I'll be a good role model to my kids? Will I be able to provide the unconditional love that my kids and my wife deserves? Many people will say na, nasa una lang ang takot, pero pag andyan na, makikita mo na wala ka dapat palang katakutan. I respectfully disagree with that. I believe that fear helps us make rational decisions in life. And with a life-changing decision like this, I believe one has to be rational in order to help with their decision-making process. Those, I believe, are the points that single or unmarried couples with no kids need to think about before entering into a lifelong commitment of marriage and family. Those points do not intend to offend, ridicule, or belittle any persons that did not have any plans at all on starting a family of their own but are now doing quite well with regards to having a happy and healthy household. I'm glad that most of my friends with their own families are all happy and blessed with a wonderful household of their own. Here's to all of you, to the single gents and ladies and unmarried couples with no kids out there. Always remember, we will be blessed with a family too someday. Before I end this podcast, I would like to leave you all a message from what I came across preparing for this topic. Having somewhere to go is home. Having someone to love is family. And having both is a blessing. Thank you so much for listening. Looking forward to spending episode 2 with you all. Have an amazing day ahead. If you like this podcast, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We are also available in other audio streaming platforms. Check out the links below.